if you want to get the most out of your wardrobe and have things to wear, then I recommend skipping these 10 fall winter trends. The first trend is cargos. It's a little confusing. Um, big pockets. I mean, cargo shorts. I, I don't know. Cargo shorts for men are like the number one thing when I work with a client, a male client, and I go into his closet. If he has cargo shorts, that's like the number one thing that goes away. So I'm just confused by cargo pants for women. But they're everywhere. So I don't know. Look, if you're into these trends, these are just my opinions and my my observations. If you're into these trends and you want to try it, have fun with it, go for it. These are just the trends that I feel like aren't going to be here to last. And these aren't the trends that I feel like are going to help you get dressed long term and really just love your style. So that's my opinion. But cargos is the number one trend that I would personally avoid. The second trend are oversized coats. This has been around for a bit. Um, I just feel like oversized coats look like that. They look like oversized coats, especially if you're petite. It just looks like it's swallowing you whole. I don't think they're the most flattering. I don't think they're the most forgiving. I just feel like, you know, it just looks like somebody that is either wearing their husband's or boyfriend's or dad's coat or they're, you know, feel like they're bigger and they want to hide. So they're wearing something that's too big. Neither way, it doesn't really look good in my opinion. It just looks sloppy. Now, again, this is my opinion. I just don't think this is a trend that's going to last. I don't think it's something that looks super chic and stylish and put together. Some people want to play with it. Some people have been able to do it, but I personally, it's not a trend that I'm loving. I love trends or I love wearing things that are gonna help me get dressed easily. I love having things in my closet that I'm gonna love for years. So I just don't feel like this is something that is going to be in style for years. The next thing I'm not loving is corset tops. Now, there are some that I've seen, you know, with the way they're styled, they can look really cute, but I feel like they're, one, they're not really practical. I feel like anytime you're dealing with something that's strapless, you know, something that you might have to worry about like pulling up, but to wear it, I just feel like it takes more work. It's not really practical for everyday life. Now, if you're somebody that wants to play with a corset again, if you want to wear it for going out, for dressing up, have fun with it, you know, do it. The trends that are not going to be here to stay, I would not recommend spending a, a big part of your budget. I would definitely recommend looking for something that's more affordable, um, just because I don't think it's something that's going to be here to stay. And a lot of the corsets I have seen, you know, I just, again, I just don't think they're flattering. They just look kind of confused or confusing. Um, so again, this is just a trend that I personally am not going to be trying. If you are going to try it, just look for the most simple, basic, you know, corset. Look for something that is just smooth and maybe black or an ivory or something that is more neutral because it, it will at least feel more classic and polished than you know, some of the ones that have all these extra embellishments and whatnot. The next trend is feathers. This has come in and out for a long time now. It's back. I don't know. I just feel like it feels a little bit like a boa, you know, one of those like boa things. It just doesn't really work for me. Again, I don't think it's something that's like long term. I think if you want to do something that's kind of more fun and a little bit more flashy, I'd recommend sequins over feathers because sequins are something that they have been in style. They come in and out again, as long as you get them in a classic style and classic colors, I just feel like they're going to be here to stay. And you can, worst case scenario, you can always have them for New Year's. So I feel like sequins are kind of a better way to go than some of these more options that have feathers, bags with feathers I've seen. They're just, I just don't think they're that wearable and that they're going to take you, you know, help you get dressed long term. The next trend that doesn't make sense to me, and I think is not very practical for most, if not all people, are those skirts or dresses or pants that are skimming the floor. This is a great way for those things to get super dirty and to trip. I love the look of it like in a photo. I think it looks beautiful in a photo. It looks almost like a wedding dress, like luxurious. But if you think about, you know, a wedding dress, somebody, you know, you have to bustle the train or it has to be just in the back so that the bride doesn't trip. I just feel like for practical reasons, having something that's super long is, it's just, 
it's not going to be something that you're going to reach for because it's not going to be easy to wear. If there's rain outside, if there's snow, if there's anything on the ground, if you're going anywhere that might be a little, you know, there, there might be dirt, you're going to get those bottoms super dirty. So I would just personally, I would avoid these and maybe just save them for photo shoots. The next trend that I'm definitely going to avoid is chunky platforms. Now there's some platforms that they're not overly done. They're not super chunky that I think can work if you know, you want that little extra height, um, but you want to still feel comfortable in your shoes. But what I'm seeing a lot right now is like these chunky platforms that remind me of the nineties. I mean, I think that's where they're getting them from. And I just feel like they just look so bulky. They don't look feminine. I don't, they look super masculine. And if that's your style, and again, you want to try those out or, you know, you want to wear those, those feel cool to you, go for it. But I wouldn't think, I don't think that these are going to be something that, you know, you're going to be able to wear again and again and again for, you know, the next few seasons or years to come. This is something that maybe 20 years from now, it'll come back in style. But I just feel like those chunky platform shoes are not really flattering. The next trend is another one I'm completely confused about. It's huge knitwear. I don't even understand it. I mean, I love the idea of wearing kind of like an oversized sweater with something fitted on the bottom or an oversized sweater that's long enough that you can wear it like a dress with over the knee boots. Like, I love that idea because it's like balancing opposites. It's, you know, it's having something fitted on the bottom, something oversized on top. But the stuff that's out right now, I don't, again, it's not wearable. It, it looks just, it looks like you're just wearing a beautiful blanket, like wrapped wrapping yourself in this beautiful blanket. I don't think it's practical. I don't think it's realistic. Maybe again, for photos, it's beautiful. It has its place, but for real life, I just don't feel like that huge oversized knit is going to be really flattering. And it's going to be something that is going to, you're going to get a lot of use out of in your wardrobe. The next trend I'm definitely going to avoid is ultra baggy, like super baggy jeans and they're back. Um, I've seen them a lot on, you know, high school kids. And I think, you know, on a high school kid, ultra baggy jeans with like a little crop top. I mean, that could be cute, like that depending on their style and depending on, you know, they, they're playing with that trend. But this is a trend, I wore that trend 20 years ago. So I don't, one, I don't wanna do it again. And two, I'm at, you know, I'm at a place where I think most of you are probably at where you just, you wanna look, good. You want to feel like what you wear, like you're actually, it actually accentuates your best assets and it makes you feel good and confident. And I just feel like something, anything super oversized, I just feel like is not flattering um, on most people, if not everyone, in my opinion. So I would definitely personally, and I'm suggesting it also recommending avoiding those super baggy, ultra baggy pants, jeans. The next fall winter trend that, again, I'm avoiding is square loafers. Now I, I hate square shoes anyway. I hate, hate's a really strong word, but I really dislike square shoes or ultra like super pointy shoes. I just feel like they remind me of Halloween costumes. The square loafers, like they feel like pump, like pilgrim shoes, right? Like, and especially some of the square loafers that have the chunky platforms, like those two trends together. Ugh, I don't know. I just don't think it's flattering. I don't think they're versatile. Uh, I just think they look like a pilgrim shoe or like I made a shoe out of cardboard and painted it black for a Halloween costume. That may be extreme, but I just think square loafers are not flattering on anyone. And the last trend is statement leather. Now, one of the trends that I do like right now that I talked about in my video for the trends that are wearable for this fall and winter is leather, but I'm talking about statement leather. So leather that's like super, again, oversized or like, you know, this like bright color or there has embellishments or just some other kind of thing making this leather piece, a piece of art versus a piece of clothing. It's not, again, it's not gonna help you get dressed. It might be beautiful. It might be beautiful for a season. You know, you could probably wear it once or twice if it's something that, you know, you feel drawn to. You probably wanna look in some vintage stores if you are gonna go this route as opposed to buying something off the rack. I just feel like, again, it's not something that you're going to have in your closet for years to come. It's not something that you're gonna get a ton of use out of. It's not something that's gonna make it easy to get dressed every day. So that's what I think about the 10 trends that I would avoid, I would skip this fall and winter. In general, I do recommend skipping trends that are not gonna help you get dressed because most trends don't help you get dressed every day. Most trends 
are those fun one or two pieces, those statement pieces that you can wear for a season. So focus on having those foundation pieces in your closet and just have fun if you want to for, you know, pick one or two trends that are more like fun items that you want to play with that you're not going to use your full wardrobe budget for that, you know, you just want to have fun with. So I think it's great to use trends for that purpose, but trends are coming, they come in and out. They're not here to stay. That's the whole point of trends or they come, you know, will come back in 10 or 20 years. If you want to see the top 10 trends that I do recommend for fall and winter, you can go ahead and watch this video. You can see the trends that I recommend and how to style them. So thanks for being here and thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.